if you had the opportunity, which in some respect you do, but let's just say you had the opportunity and somebody said, look, um, Uh, you can you can meet this individual uh, and you can listen to him speak, but he he doesn't speak your language, but he is a truly illumined person. you can you can li sit with him and listen to him. or uh, I've got a book. Uh, that was translated, where his works have been translated. Which would you choose? Yeah. If you were wise, you would. Why? Because no matter what, no matter how well something is interpreted, it's incomplete. When a, a great artist, a composer, when anybody, including yourself, if you have any artistic bent, you, you have a, a moment of intuition in which in your soul is reflected something of beauty or of meaning, of substance, and then your, your effort, if you a, a, attempt it, which you must, if you don't, you don't know what you're, the food you're throwing away, if you attempt to bring this impression from heaven into earth, your attempt to bring this impression is in fact an interpretation of the original meaning of it. And that interpretation will always, must miss the mark because the, what interprets it and the medium into which it is interpreted is at a different level than the original impression. If you only knew how you spend your life interpreting your experiences. You would cease from interpreting them. Because every time you do, you steal from yourself what that moment has brought with it for you alone. Catch it. See what happens when you, when you enter that moment where meaning is rich and ripe and you refuse the interpretation of it. Then you'll start to eat real food. You'll start to nourish the parts of yourself that are intended to be nourished in the only way they can by the living word.